This video is going to be about rewiring Reason into Digital Performer. Now, rewiring is a protocol that allows two pieces of software, two DAWs, to be able to communicate with each other, and it can be really handy in using and utilizing some of the sounds that are in one DAW within one that maybe you use more often or you're more comfortable with. So right now what I've done is I've opened up a blank session in DP. I don't have anything here yet. And I want to make sure that I open up DP first. And the reason why is because we want Reason to be a slave to DP when we're rewiring. And basically what that means is everything in Reason is going to be governed by what we do in DP. In other words, we're going to create MIDI tracks in DP, but they're going to talk to Reason in terms of what sounds are going to come back as to be able to be heard in DP. So I have this open and while we've opened DP we want to open Reason right after that. That should load pretty quickly. And this is basically what Reason will look like um, right when you start off. And yours might look a little bit different than this, but we want to just kind of go through some of the preferences first and make sure that everything's exactly the way that we want it to be able to have it work with DP in the way that we like. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into Reason, Preferences, and I'm just going to check a few things. Um, the first one that I want to do is your control surface. And you want to make sure that Reason isn't recognizing any MIDI controller. So you don't want to use any with Reason um, because you don't want it to get confused as to what MIDI messages you're sending to Reason versus DP. So we really just want Reason to be where we get our sounds from and we want DP to do all the work. So just make sure this is unchecked and we're not recognizing any MIDI, MIDI controllers. You also want um, in the advanced section no MIDI input on any of these as well. And if we go back to the general settings, we want to make sure that the default song is an empty rack. That means it doesn't have a preset, it doesn't have anything set in Reason already, and this will just give us a blank slate to start with. So I'm just going to get rid of some of these other excess views here in Reason, and I'm just going to look at what we have so far in the rack. And the way that Reason is set up is with um, different utilities or mixers or effects, um, as well as software instruments. The first thing I want to do is create a mixer within Reason because that's going to allow us to be able to route everything where we want it to go. So if I go to Utilities, I'm going to drag in the mixer 14 to 2. And that shows up right there. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and choose some instruments that I'd like to hear. And we're not going to be able to hear any of these quite yet because we haven't set it up in DP. But I'm going to go with the, um, the Red Drum drum machine here. And we'll just do two for now, but you can add as many of these as you like. And I'm going to go to the ID8 here. And all I'm doing is just clicking and dragging them. Now, Reason is pretty cool because you can actually set the routing the way that you like um, within its interface. And to get that view, to be able to click and drag different cables to route the way that we want, you just hit Tab. And that will flip it around. And as you can see, the red rum here is already patched directly into our mixer into um, channel 1. And what we want to do is take the ID8 and also patch that. So as you can see, the audio output here is kind of going into this little slot here. We want to see what that slot actually is. We want to put that down like that, which is just like a little drop-down arrow. And then click and drag the direct outs into the second channel of our mixer. And what that's going to do is um, have each of these going into separate routing so we can control them separately within DP. Go back to the tab again to the front um, view of the, of the rack. And I'm just going to rename each of these to make it easier. We're just going to call this one drums. And I'm going to call the ID8 piano. But we can actually choose some other patches. But let's just use what's here for now. And let's go back to DP. Now we're back in DP. Um, if I'm pressing on my MIDI keyboard, nothing's coming out because DP is controlling everything that happens in Reason. We need to tell DP what to do now and how to utilize those sounds within Reason. 
So the first thing we want to do is create a new auxiliary track. And what that's going to do is pick up everything from Reason and play it back into DP. So right now it doesn't have anything set up, but our output is put to 1 and 2. And we want to set the input to New Stereo Bundle and mix uh, Reason Mix left and right. That's basically, the aux acts like, some, like a magnet to everything coming out of Reason. It just kind of goes straight to that auxiliary track and it's going to get played back within DP. Now in order to utilize the sounds, we want to make some MIDI tracks. And Shift-Command-M is another really quick um, shortcut for this. And since we have two instruments there, I'm just going to make two MIDI tracks. Now, as we know, MIDI tracks will send data. They're not sound itself. And we want that data to be sent to Reason when we're in rewire mode. So this first one here, and I always rename everything right as I go. I'm going to call this one Drums. And this Aux, I'm going to call the Reason Playback for now. And you can change these to whatever you want. And our second MIDI track we'll call Piano. Now, on the um, output area of the MIDI tracks, we want to select where that data is going. So the output of the MIDI track. And as you can see, we because we're rewiring, we have Reason Bus 6 right here. And since we relabeled our Red Run drum machine, uh, a Red Run drum machine, uh, you can see that it's now labeled drums here. Which means if I record enable that track, I should turn it up a little bit, be able to hear those drums, which is great. So now this is talking directly to our Red Room drum machine. And if we go to our piano track, we can choose the piano, which we renamed here, and if we record enable that one, we'll be able to hear piano. Now, going back to Reason, we don't have to use this piano patch here. We could use something different if we like. If we scroll up and down here with our presets, we can go with our electric piano. Um, or we can, in the same way, choose a different kit within the drum kit. Um, and I'm just getting that by hitting this little folder right here. UK Underground, and we can see what that sounds like. But remember, right now I'm still hearing that piano track. We want to go back and record enable the drum track and use that one there. And we can do this process as many times as we want um, with as many, many tracks and controlling uh, any of these different synths or samplers within Reason. Record them in, and they'll act exactly the same way as if you're using a software instrument within DP.